have my little cheat sheet. <laughs> Let me know if you could actually see what I had written on my little cheat sheet. Anyway, hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, end of the month, it's time for a wrap up. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I had to have a little cheat sheet because I did read, um, three, three books digitally, so I don't have them, so I'm gonna have to, you know, do the magic, um, but what should we start with? Let's just, let's start with the, um, the e-reads as it were, so I don't forget about them again. <laughs> anyway, so I read three books digitally uh, because I don't have them and um, yeah, so so that happened. They are all featured in the same video, so you know, um, but it is, see if I can, because I've only written down the titles, let's see, let's see if I can remember the author name as well. So I have Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Yeah, I'll, I'll be correcting myself later uh, if I'm wrong. Um, so, what was this about? It was a weird romance book where he sings. Cringe. Oh yeah, so, um, characters' names evades me, but the brother um, asks his best friend to look after his sister while he's away, and the sister and the best friend's brother of the best friend, best friend's brother, brother's best friend, wow, um, well, yeah, it's, it's one of those, one of those, bomb, trickle, bomb, um, it's creepy, it's stalkery, um, I mean, I, I'll admit I did have a good time reading all three of these books, but, um, yeah, it, it's, it's not, the best, let's say that. Also, some of those scenes were just weird. Also, he stalks her and then sings to her. How is that romantic? Moving on to The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I'm gonna be so pleased with myself if I actually remembered correctly. So this one was the, the Disneyland world thing, um, not, not really Disney, but the theme park, and what was it, he was set up by his, no, his grandpa, um, has made, ch like, challenges to all his grandsons, um, and this dude just happens to have to do something at the theme park, where, he meets the lady. This was actually um, a lot cuter, creepy still, but a lot cuter uh, than Twisted Love. I had to check my notes. Um, my notes being my cheat list. <laughs> um, but also, <laughs> not the best plot, but it was fine for what it was. And the third one, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Um, this one I liked a lot better. There were a bit plot twists to be uh, that I didn't really care for, but yeah. So basically they're in college, I want to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's a skater and he's a hockey player and twists and events and they sort of hook up. That was the short of it. Um, all three of these books though, so all three of these books are the first in their series, but all three of those books have the, and they, so they lived happily ever after end. They had an ending. <laughs> Not really happily ever after, but they had an ending. So I'm like, what's book two? I may have to look into that. Maybe if I take out the wine that's in the fridge and I have weird ideas for 24 hours. <laughs> this is not me admitting to planning things, by the way. 
this is just weird. No, let's move on. Okay, so those were all the um, the ebooks. So let's go go move on to the physical books. So I just take them from you know the pile I have. So the first one is Tales of the Celestium Celestial Kingdom by Sulin Tan. So this is a short story correct short story collection um, from the Celestial Kingdom duology and this video should just have come out so you know um, all, all these books are featured in a video by the way so there's that yeah um, cute for what it is um, Chinese mythology based stuff um, I don't think this book is strictly necessary to complete the duology as it were, but they're well written, they're good. I don't know a lot of Chinese mythology stories as it were, but I am interested to look into it. Whenever that will be, I don't know, because there's so many things. But if someone were to put a book in front of me and said this is a great story collection of Chinese mythology, I'd read that book. Next up is the third and last installment in the Atlas, I want to say trilogy, Atlas trilogy. I think it's called the Atlas 6 trilogy, but yeah, the Atlas trilogy. It's the Atlas Complex by Olivia Blake. Now, I did a video all about the uh, Atlas trilogy, as it were, and yeah, yeah, life crisis, ex existential life crisis is still ongoing i'm not gonna lie these books this trilogy gives you so many things to think about and oh yeah i i, I really really like this trilogy i'm not gonna lie um i really like this trilogy i will be rereading it sometime in the future not right now because my brain needs to calm down it's a lot in it uh also so many books to read but yeah, I really liked it. I did. May not have come across in that video, but I did. S yeah. Uh, and then I have the only paperback of the bunch for some reason. That's weird. Anyway, it's Music and Malice in Hurricane Time by Alex Bell. Um, this is one of the books I started a, a long time ago. And I'm trying to mood mood read my way through them all. Um, this just happens to be the only one I've finished so far. So, Jude, Jude. Basically, Jude um, gets possessed by the Kaju Queen spirit, as it were. And then she has to figure out who killed the ca Kaju Queen. I can't say those words. <laughs> Kaju Queen. Um, who killed her? and uh, why basically so she can leave jude's body and jude can go back to her well miserable life as it were but her own life and not you know have someone else invading you it was um i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like scary and such because i didn't find it scary um or horrific in any way there are loads of things that i would like to see like cinematically visually as it were jude is uh jude is quite sassy so it's fun to see her running around town like taking on all these powerful creatures as it were there's vampires there's magic around and she's you know, a normal person. Um, so, yeah. I had a good time. I don't know why I haven't finished it earlier, like when I first started it. Um, but there we go. Then, the last two books are the first books I read this month for a crazy, non-planned 24-hour thing. Um, yeah, two chunky books. So the first one is Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. So this is um, her first adult series. Is that what we're saying? Um, we follow at least two characters. It's been a whole month, okay? It's been a whole month. <laughs> Basically, this guy, what's his name? This dude, he is... that. There's... 
just acclamations back here. Um, this dude is like from childhood she's taken he's basically kidnapped but we don't use those words do we he's taken and being trained to be the princess body double um so he's the sword catcher as it were so he's um he's there on all official events being the prince and <laughs> you know if someone wants to murder the prince it's going to be him and not actually the prince um yeah and then we have um some other girly who has some magic and is like from this kind of people that has the only little bit of magic still available because magic has gone uh, i'm not explaining it very well from what the hype said you i'd say a bit disappointed but I try not to listen too much to the hype uh, but you can't help but not hear things um, so I'm curious to see where it's gonna go but from just book one it's a whole lot of walking around and no information being shared but having said that Cassandra Clare's books are quite chunky I mean, have you seen just one single book from any of the, I want to say Mortal Instruments, but the, the, the Shadow Hunter books, because uh, the Mortal Instruments is one series, and yeah, all that jazz. Anyway, um, not too sure about what I think about the book so far, um, <laughs> the series so far, but um, I guess it was okay. It was an, an okay read, but I want to know more and I want to see it, it going in somewhere. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how big this series is gonna be. I just know this is book one. <laughs> there we go. And the very last book I'll be talking about now um, is The Adventures of Amina El Serafi by Shannon Chakraborty. Why this is by Shannon Chakraborty and not S.A. Chakraborty, I want to know like the differences between those because it's the same person but anybody has n any knowledge about that? This is her own words by the way, middle-aged female pirate bring it on baby um basically she's retired all that um well self-retired i don't know she gets an opportunity well she's basically forced to go looking for this person and but the reward will be like millions and millions and millions and uh, a lot of cash if she finishes this job her family will be set for life no worries, no foul. No foul? What am I talking about? I don't know. Um, but things may not be as it seems. Ooh. <laughs> also a first in a series. I'm not sure what I think about the series as it were. Um, I want to know more. This is like a big teaser for something to come and I want to know more and yeah basically when is book two when is book two also how how big is this series gonna be because I feel like I'm committing myself to a lot of series yeah <laughs> I don't know how much waffling I've done, how many weird stops I've had to do because the dishwasher was on and I didn't want to have too much of that noise on. It's now finished. So yeah, I could have waited 20 minutes. I did not. I just wanted to film this video. So, yeah, what was I going to say? I don't know. Thank you for watching this video. Um, have you read any of these books? Are you going to read any of these books? Let me know, and uh, until next time, take care, uh, bye-bye.